about it for more than two years, the moment has finally arrived for WRL to make the DTV transition. WRL's Monica Law Liberty and the president and CEO of Capital Broadcasting, Jim Goodman, join us again from the transmitter in Auburn. Time to flip that switch, Monica. Oh my gosh, we are ready. You know, this really should be a non-event for most television viewers. I mean, 42% of the country has actually already made the switch. Remember, we were originally supposed to do it in February, and then it was delayed to give folks more time. But yes, today is the day now officially for everybody at CN. I am here. There is the button. I've got Jim Goodman here ready to make that switch. But I want to quickly remind everybody, when we do that, we are going to go off the air for about five minutes. And that is the time, except if you're a Time Warner Cable customer, you won't notice anything, at least that's what we're hoping. But we're going to go off the air for about five minutes, and that is the time that if you get us over the air with an antenna, you have an converter box, that you go ahead and unplug your television, unplug your converter box so that you can re-scan for channels. But now it's time, let's do it. Are you ready? Thank you, I'm talk. I'm, okay. okay, I'm ready. Don't hit the wrong button. I won't, So here's what we're doing. Okay. You're watching WRL TV Channel 5 analog over the air right now with an antenna. We're turning her off. She's going to be gone. But then you're going to start watching WRL on digital, right? So we're going to turn off the analog. Let me step out of the way. I'm going to do one and you do one. I'm going to turn off the plate voltage and you're going to turn off the film. I'm going to turn off the plate. <laughs> There went channel 5. We still have channel 50, however. The, uh, yeah. I've got one on one of the other TVs here. 